All right, so before I say anything, I want you guys to watch this first, okay? Here we go. Oh, by the way, there is gonna be a new Krillin, as you can see. Brand new Krillin coming with the banner, pretty cool. But I don't think that's why you guys came to this video. This is the reason you guys are here. So we're starting off with the 12 key super, Gallic Gun, and the Destructo Disc. Pretty nice, right? Not bad. And then we have the active skill with the voice lines. And this active skill effect is just dumb. We'll get to it in a second. You know, I, I need to shut up. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Just watch. Just enjoy. Dude, these look way too good, man. These animations look way too good. Like, I've I've long said at this point, they should just get the Dokkan team to animate the next season of Dragon Ball Super. Because when I, I look at the side-by-side -side comparisons of a lot of, a lot of these animations, I'm like, yo, it's the anime and the animations for a mobile game. And you can't tell me that the mobile game doesn't look as good. If not... If not, a little bit better, okay? No disrespect to the animators at all for Super, because I think Super is actually one of the better looking anime I've ever watched. But, this is clean. All right, this looks really, really, really good, man. And I always think that like at some point, you know, when a new animation comes out, you're like, yo, We've peaked, right? This is like the peak of how good Dokkan animations can look. And then they just keep one-upping themselves, man. It just keeps getting better and better and better. And uh, there you go. Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. LR. Dokkan Fest LR. As one card. Coming to JP very soon. I think in most likely like a couple days. Um... Like two or three maybe, I'm not really sure, but very soon. There are the animations, there's also a Krillin, we'll talk about the Krillin. But let's pop over to the Homiko Resh's page here. Huge shout out, thank you for the timely translations. I mean timely for the time that they came out, it's actually already like six, seven hours after because I slept for a very long time and it was a bad time to decide to do that because obviously um, I missed out on a lot of the initial hype. So I do apologize to anybody that relies on this channel for your Dokkan news. I let you guys down. I feel bad about it, but this, that's just how it goes sometimes, right? That's life. Anyways, let's uh, let's talk about this. We got the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken, or Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta surpassing endless power. They're a Super Fizz unit. Wait, hold on. Super Fizz, right? Yeah, Super Fizz LR, the first one since, at least the first uh, summonable one since LR Bardock. That was a long time ago. Leader skill is All Out, which is a brand new category, or Joined Forces, key plus 3 HP attack and defense, plus 150%. Joined Forces, the last leader, like the real leader we got was Kalen Khalifla, and they were 130%. So, 150% for one of the craziest categories in the entire game. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Super attack 12 key is Destructo Disc and Gallic Gun, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack. And the 18 key is Kamehameha and Final Flash, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. And then the active skill, no sorry, I'm skipping the passive. Attack and defense plus 70%. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, and then gains critical hit chance plus 7% and key plus 2, and performs an additional attack up to 3 times in a turn per rainbow key sphere obtained. Okay, so let's break down this passive. They're already getting attack and defense plus 70%, which is pretty solid, right? For a LR, a summonable LR, like that's already gonna make them hit pretty hard. But then they're getting this nuking side 
of attack and defense plus seven percent per key sphere obtained so you get you know five key spheres that's an additional 35 percent you get 10 key spheres that's an additional 70 percent you get a full board that's an additional uh 150 60 percent or something like that obviously you're not getting a full board most times but still like the potential for these guys to do insane numbers is is very very high like their ceiling is very very high and then they also get up to 35 percent crit chance depending on how many rainbow orbs you get they're getting a ton of key from the rainbow spheres because you're getting plus two key so you're probably going to be able to get that 18 key super very easily very often and then the additional attacks i believe are guaranteed to be normal attacks just like super saiyan blue evolution vegeta um so I mean, I wouldn't say that's disappointing or anything like that, because honestly, if these additional attacks had the potential to become super attacks, then this unit would be so much better than every other unit in the game that it wouldn't even make sense. So it's probably a good thing, just for balance purposes, that these additional attacks can only be normals, and uh, the only additional super you can get would be from the hidden potential system, right? But uh, yeah, uh, this unit's really good really 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 good in contention i think at this point for the best unit in the game and i didn't even get to the i didn't even get to the active skill yet guys all right this active skill is able to be activated or used when hp is 50 percent or less and the ability gives them a key plus 24 and attack plus 70 percent 70% now you do lose 50% defense, but 70% attack guys. All right. Remember tech Broly. All right LR tech Broly His active skill gives him 24 key and 48% All right 48% attack and you guys know how hard that guy can hit on the turn his active skill is popped These guys get 70% they're also, you know a nuker so they you know get a ton of attack and defense from just the key spheres too and then you add in that 70% from the active skill, like how hard are these guys gonna be hitting, man? I can see them easily cracking 10 million like it's nothing. Maybe even 15 million. I don't really know. I haven't done the actual calculations, but this unit is just ridiculous. It's ridiculously broken, ridiculously busted, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what they were thinking, man. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed this unit. They're like, yo, let's just keep breaking the game with every new unit release. That's what it feels like right now. Damn. Damn. Okay, uh, moving on. Lynx, Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And their categories are all out representatives of Universe 7, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Joint Forces, Full Power. Kamehameha, man. Because obviously these categories needed more busted units, right? Kamehameha, the trash category. Definitely needed an upgrade. Same thing with Pure Saiyans. Same thing with Reps of Universe 7. <laughs> Same thing with Joint Forces. Dude, this is crazy. These are already some of the best categories in the game, right? These are already some of the most busted categories this game had to offer. And now we have this guy. Now we have this unit in there too. Oh man, absolute madness. Anyways, that covers it for this upcoming LR. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about everything from the animations to the details and all that stuff. Um, I do think that they are definitely in the conversation for best unit in the game now. I'm not going to give them that title until I see more, but just on paper, they're dumb in like a really good way. You know what I mean? So. There's the next Dokkan Fest LR coming to the game. And before we go, let's uh, pay some respect to our boy Krillin as well, because his new card is actually fantastic. Super AGL Krillin. Leader skill is reps of universe seven, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack is 100 times solar flare, causes supreme damage and lowers attack with a high chance to stun the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 180% and medium chance to evade enemy's attack. Gain key plus 2 and additional attack and defense plus 120% if there is an Android 18. Attacking on the same turn, attacks effective against all types. 
if targeted enemy is in the stunned status. So he can get up to 100 or 300% attack and defense if you have an Android 18. In the same turn, he also has a medium chance, which I'm assuming is 25-30% to 30 to evade all attacks, and gets effective against all types if the enemy is stunned. And since he gets a high chance to stun on a super attack, if the enemy can in fact be stunned, then there's a good chance that they're going to be stunned after Krillin attacks them one time, you know? So, this is this is an awesome unit, man. He's not Dokkan Fest, right? He's just a side new unit coming with the Kaoken Goku and Evolution Vegeta, but don't sleep on this guy. Definitely don't sleep on this guy. This Krillin is really, really good. And his links are experienced fighters, turtle school, solid support, Brainiacs, courage, chairman of power, and fierce battle. Unfortunately, he cannot be run on the Earthlings category if you want to, in fact, run the actual category with the best leader available, right? Because the current best leader is LR Krillin, so you can't obviously run two Krillins, so that kind of sucks. But you can still use him on Universe Survival Saga and representatives of Universe 7. Definitely going to be a very fun unit to use, and uh, there you go guys, that is the Krillin. We talked about the Goku and Vegeta, and that is what's coming to JP for their Tana Bata celebration this year, which should be starting on July 1st in like three days, and I assume that's when the banner with these units will also drop. I'm not 100% sure, maybe it'll come like a day or two later, but it should be on July 1st. should be on July 1st. Anyways, that is today's video. Um, I've said all there is to say about this unit. It's wild. It's crazy. The animations look amazing. And once again, I want to hear your opinions. Alright, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about all this stuff how do you feel as a global player like seeing this with our anniversary coming up like are you gonna spend a little bit less on the anniversary now so you can save for this unit when it comes or you know what's the plan like i'm still gonna go all out i'm still gonna you know go down to zero stones like balls deep for vegeto and gogeta but these guys have definitely given me some Something to think about, you know, like, I, I think I'm gonna make a video soon, you know, going over the things to save for once the, you know, five-year anniversary is over on Global. So if you guys are Global mains, Global players, then stay tuned for that. But that is today's video, guys. That is all I got for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.